Welcome to Well-Crafted Studio. I'm here to help you live inspired and create with purpose. So let's get started. Okay, so it's been about 48 hours before, since we've made these and I am ready to glaze these. So I thought I would show you. I've made a couple here. Um, you can see now that they actually are all a uniform color. They don't have that mottled gray and white anymore. They're all just white. So the glaze that I've chosen is Triple Thick by DecoArt. The Triple Thick is a brilliant brush-on gloss glaze. It's an acrylic glaze. You can find it easily at any craft store, but I'll also have supply links in the video notes. To apply the glaze, I'm going to use a foam brush. I'm going to load my brush up pretty thickly, and then I'm going to go ahead and just brush it on. I want as few brush strokes as possible because although the glaze seems to be somewhat self-leveling, it does like to pool. Just to be careful about that. And you can't really go back into it a whole lot. So if I was to do this and then try to catch my strokes afterwards, it doesn't work as well. I just show more strokes. So trying for an even application the first time seems to be the way to go. The other thing that I like about this glaze is that it doesn't seem to get many bubble bubbles into it. Uh, for a glaze like this that's very close to kind of a resin look, um, to not have that bubbles happening is pretty great. I did try a Mod Podge to seal and although I liked the look of it. It wasn't quite so glossy. It did show more brush strokes than the deco art does. And so going with our goal of trying to make this look as close to actual ceramics, kiln-fired ceramics as possible, I felt like this was a better choice. So I'm gonna let it sit aside. I have a couple of other pieces that I've already done. So you can see that there is still some slight brush strokes visible. And you really, again, can't really go back in there and do a whole lot with it. This one I glazed multiple times and I did, I did try to do, you know, multiple coats and I think it did do pretty well. So it might just be something that you need to play with. The bigger the piece, the more likely it is that you're going to have that brush stroke just because it's gonna take you longer to add the glaze. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And if you found it helpful, please like, comment, or subscribe below. And for more tutorials like this, visit wellcraftedstudio.com.